all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Put in some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, we are about to get into this video now. From what I know about this, um, it was on TikTok. Basically, Shorty went to see her boyfriend, and well, she met his wife. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we about to get into it. You know what I'm saying? I haven't seen the full story time, so let's get it. All the details, which I don't know if I even want to share every single thing because it's wild. Uh, I'll go through the day. So, as y'all saw in the beginning, I, that was literally the TikTok of me so happy in the beginning because I was going to surprise him. And I literally had so, even though my gut... um. Hold on, let me go to her original TikTok if I can uh, find that one. Ah, uh, shit. Part one. Um, where's the original TikTok on here? Maybe she deleted it. She had to have deleted it. But basically, she gave a quick little story time of how about how she traveled to see that man and ran into his wife. Okay, so before I go into all the details, which I don't know if I even want to share every single thing because it's wild, uh, I'll go through the day. So, appreciate the as y'all okay? saw in the beginning, I, that was literally the TikTok of me so happy in the beginning. What the fuck? Girl... Now I gotta learn how to work TikTok first, me. Jesus Christ. All right, this is the okay, last so time. Before I go into all the details, which I don't know if Keep I even want to share listen. every single thing because it's wild, uh, I'll go through the day. So, as y'all saw in the beginning, I, that was literally the TikTok of me so happy in the beginning because I was going to surprise him. And I literally had so, <clears throat> even though my gut um just missed him i really just wanted to see him i was not thinking nothing so i literally was on my way i you know was videotaping me on my way to go see him so which i didn't see i didn't of course i didn't record was okay so the ride there he kept calling me so we were on facetime and he literally kind of like listen i can't lie to him i literally we, our communication as far as talking to each other we usually tell each other everything and when what? i was like driving and he called me the second time i was still in the car he was like where you going and i was like i'm gonna see my man and so basically the pop-up turned into him knowing that i was coming and um and he knew the plan was i was gonna go to my cousin's house in charlotte and his place is an hour and a half away from charlotte Damn. so of course he was like, babe, I don't want you coming all the way to the mountains because he lived like further up in the mountains in North Carolina. He was like, in the place is a mess, like all the construction and different stuff because they gutted it out. And he was like, I don't want you, you know, here. And he said, um, you know, I'll meet you in Charlotte and we can go watch the game. And I was like, well, my cousin, oh, is, he um, her friends were Charlotte. having a, a Super Bowl party and then found out my other cousin was doing a Super Bowl party. So he was like, we can go to one of those. So it was planned. So okay. when as I'm um, heading there, he's calling Look, me throughout if, the if day. I'm telling but somebody, saying, I'm working. If I'm telling somebody I want to come somewhere, and they telling me why I don't need to. I'm I'm not going. On Especially sink. if I got to so drive. Working on the sink. And I was like, why are you working on the I need you to be with the you energy I'm on. You coming. Work. Yes. So right. that was first red flag. And so he was like, no. He said, because I want to try to get this together. Because I want you to start coming out here. I want you. He want me to start coming out there. Wow. Just think about everything. I don't even know what to believe. I don't know what's the lie. What's the truth with this man. So anyway, it's probably going to be a, another part two, part three. Yeah, so anyway, he's working on the sink. So and Greensboro as don't I'm, have no as mountains. I'm an hour and a half shit. away, which he's an hour and a half away. I was like, well, won't you? And he's like, well, I'm going to come so that, 
we can meet there, get there at the same time. Because he missing me, I'm missing him. Like when I tell you, this man had the biggest smile on his face just knowing I was coming. And at first he was like, you're not coming here. When he realized that I really was coming, he was really excited. So I'm like, okay, this turned into a good thing. I'm about to see my baby. I haven't seen him in a couple, like 10 days, almost two weeks. And I'm like, this is crazy. We've never been apart that long. No matter how much he traveled, no matter how much I travel, we've never been apart that long. So when I Damn. get there, I get to my cousin's house and it's um, about 4.30, almost 5 o'clock. And I called him and he was like, he's still at the house working on a sink. What? At the house working on a sink. So part two. So that was like weird to me. But I was like, well, he, you know, he, he really wants to start getting the house together so that I can start coming out there. So we don't be apart too long, whatever the case may be. Because he said, after he starts getting it, getting it done, he'll be back in Atlanta. Because he has an apartment out in Atlanta, too. I got a friend so who says, just this, did the same um, thing, though, y'all. And then he met a guy. Like, and then me. She, so, she met a guy. She was, uh, they was dating for, I don't know, like eight months or something. They ended up getting an apartment together, but he traveled a lot and he do security and shit for like, you know, like 11, 11 to check, like high security type shit or whatever. His wife showed up at their apartment door. Oh, I get to my cousin's house. It was like she four o'clock and like four fifteen, and I called his phone and he was like, babe, I'm almost Damn. done. Um, and he was outside and I thought that was weird oh, that he was outside and um, he was like, he told like, I'm trying to find this this pipe to turn the water off because I done did something. I done messed something up. And I said, that's why you should have left it alone. You should have been messing with it. And you know, I'm just laughing and making, I was like, I said, your girl is an hour and literally 15 minutes away from you. And you were about a sink for something that I'm not even going to see for a while. Bring your behind. And so he's like, I, I got you. I got you. So he's like, I'll be to you. So he was like, I'm going to call you back. So then I'm standing there. I'm talking to my cousin. We laughing, Kiki, and catching up. Oh, and my mouth, that's a fact. he texts me, and he's like, I'll be to you, Brown 7. And so I show my cousin. We both go, 7? It was like, what? Like, I haven't seen you in 10, 11 days. I'm an hour away. I went 15 minutes away. You worry about a sink that you're supposed to be paying other people to do first that was weird really weird so mind you he stopped the pop-up so i was popping up i literally was at my cousin i was waiting so he should have argued with her i was like well i'm tired i'm gonna take a little nap i said he better be here by seven so at six i'm no five fifty 539, I can remember, like, I'm going to show you how the text messages. He literally texted me. He was like, babe, I got so scared. Um, Something happened. Water leaking everywhere. I had to call somebody to come and help. And he's like, please give me a second. I promise I'll be there. So I'm like, excuses is getting weird now. And so I'm like, what's going sink. on? <laughs> and so I'm sh I'm shaking because, like, <sighs> woo, sigh. So... So that was the last text message at 5.39. So about like 6.30. Oh, girl. He's supposed to be there at 7. 6.30, I <laughs> called him back to back to back. He did not answer the phone. It's like, what? Why are you not answering the phone? Since when you don't answer the phone for me? And, and now everything is, all the math is mapping up. The times that he fell asleep, the times that his phone died. It's like all the stuff, like you, the things that you don't pay attention to. It's all starting no, you should always pay attention so to anyway, that phone, shit, phone. So lying. I'm weirded out now. I'm I don't so believe close. nobody it's when they say like they're I'm, I'm right here at well, this point. T -T now <laughs> you're about to get the pop up. I live like, with her for part. It's just different. I have a major headache. I had to stop because I was crying. This is a lot, and I think I'm doing too much trying to get this all out. T -T and as asleep. I'm going through it, I realized that I don't have enough a, closure, and I probably need to give myself a little bit more time. Um, but anyway, part three. I go through his phone. I mean, I look and six thirty. He's not there yet, and it's not sitting right with me because what right man who's in a good relationship, a happy relationship, and haven't seen his girl in ten, eleven days doesn't come to see them, and they're only an hour and fifteen minutes away. So everybody's asking me like, how did I get the address? Why would I have the address to his house if that's so, so called his wife? I'm asking myself the same thing. I did not have the address. So we have this thing where we share each other's locations. The reason why we share each other's locations is he's always traveling and I'm always traveling. And then um, since he was in North Carolina, um, I hate that was a way for us Kalana. to keep 
you know, that's how they say it on, each other on the hood. We were gonna be no, okay. And so it's so funny because that day he had turned his locations off. So I had definitely saved it. And I could not find the location, but I knew in the vicinity of where he lived. And I had a picture of the house. Dang. So mind you, he was building the dream that this is, he's fixing up this house. This is something he's going to rent out investment property. But of course, before he rent it out, he's going to be staying there. So of course, I'm going to be seeing it and coming up there to visit um, until he. And location off? Nah. I'm going to enjoy my time in Charlotte. Rinse it out or whatever he's going to do with it. <laughs> I've so done dumb shit like this, but at 20. I'm life with this man. Um, this man has said he wants to marry me. This man has done soft proposals. This man has looked at rings with me. Um, this man has sold this dream completely. And it wasn't a dream to me. This is a dream. This feels like a dream to me. This doesn't feel like reality. This feels like... This doesn't even still feel real. So anyway... I go try to find a location. I can't find a location. So my behind picks up the phone and I find the location from the picture that he sent me of the house. Don't ask me how I got it. That was all God. That was all my ancestors letting me know. And I literally found it down to the the the, the number, the block, everything of the house or whatever. But y'all already knew the block. He already told me. He's never hid anything from me. So I never had a question to question. Girl, he never thought your ass was, was trying to come to his house. I don't even know if he's married. Like, the story gets so deep. So, anyway, this man said that he's not married. This man's still been texting me. This man's still been calling me. Um, I'm so confused. Literally just got off the phone with him. I'm not going back. I'm not. Yeah, you are. Like, I go back. And I was like. Yeah, she is. It's, it's my decision to. I, I, I don't know what I'm. I'm. She was in love with that nigga boy. Don't, don't cry. Okay. So it's a wrap. You texting after I found out you're married and your wife pulled a gun on me. What? I asked you to give me an explanation. You let me cry and disbelieve and drove off. What you think? Why me? I want you, I would come, I guess, with you right now, if you say so. Are you married seven years? Okay, no. I want you to do, I want you, do, you, I want you. Do you want me to come or not? Did she say call me? Or come on? I don't know. I'll call soon. No. Oh, girl. I woke up this morning thinking that I was going to be feeling better. And I know I am. I'm, I'm here from this. But I woke up this morning angry. People were saying, like, I'm looking at some comments. I'm like, oh, he probably just wanted sex. No. In the five months we was together, we didn't start having sex until, like, the fourth and fifth month. Friend, that's five months. When we went to yeah. Vegas. I made him, like, wait, and then we had just started like we did something when we went to Vegas after him waiting he was a gentleman this man I, he knew that I didn't want to just sleep with him he knew that I wanted to I don't know y'all the older you get you kind of know when you took a L if I was 21 I would have been boo who boo the fuck who and too when you not in love with a motherfucker Shit like this don't count. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit like this don't count, y'all. <laughs> if TT did this to me right now, I would probably be ready to jump into the Mississippi River. Okay? But if some girl I just met did this shit, I would be like, you bitch. You bitch. <laughs> Not the cops would be called. <laughs> oh, oh, for them? Yeah, nah, this ain't... But I, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I wanna say this. <laughs> Cut and ask her to pull up to his crib. It's giving impatient much. You brought this on yourself. If Aaliyah did this to me, everybody got home. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>
<laughs> Yo. But listen, he did not ask her to come to his house. I just want to put that out there. Okay? Neek by hell no. He didn't. Okay, keep going. Like, he, he did. Felt, he, In his defense. He knew that I wanted love first. Nah, I need fuck I always get in trouble. Carefully loved on me. This man came, took care of my mom when she was not feeling well. Came oh. and cooked for us. Oh. This man is not my grandmother. This man has been around my family. True, blame. This man has been at my shows. This was God. She had to. Supporting me publicly. She had to go through this. This man has intertwined his life, his and himself in my life. Place with intentions man. of saying I was his future wife. And all the time, he already had that. When I got to that house and she was so angry, she cursed him out. I never talked to him that, that way. I keep, I, we talked to each other, king and queen. We called each other king and queen every day. That lady was angry. That was. I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm not. And this is way deeper because, like, because I met grandma when grandma was sick. Uh, it's way deeper than that, but it's just, oh, I can't even say all that to have been done in five months because, um, Honey Sauce met my people later, though. She met my people, like, aside from my dad, because he pulled up, but she met my people, like, a year later or something. Mm, I just feel like she was doing everything real early and stuff. Seven years of hurt. When she pulled that gun out on him and then she pointed it at me. I wasn't even scared. I was so hurt. I was standing outside crying. I stepped back from the porch. I didn't want to be on her porch. I can't believe I don't she respect. pulled that gun That lady out. said that was her house. This That lady said those were her two cars. She said this is her shit. This man's lied to me. I don't know what to believe. The man said that he's not married. I mean, that's, that lady is probably the mother of all his children, everything. When she pointed the gun at me, she, it wasn't, I don't even think her anger was towards me, but she did point it at me. But I was so far back. This man wouldn't even come outside. When he came outside, he got in his car and he drove off. He Girl, said he drove he off scared. to protect me because if Hell he probably would have yeah. came to me, she probably would have shot both of us. Hell yeah. But he drove off and I, st I went and I got my car right after that. This lady thought that I I was gonna bring people to like I'm so angry and hurt. I would never he can't even touch me with a ten foot pole. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> seeing seeing and finding the wedding pictures. It just I don't know. This man, everything he told me was a lie. Y'all, this not looking real sad. But not only that, after that lady done pointed that gun in your face, he said that she wasn't, they wasn't married. After you called him up in this shit and you still crying about that? Sis gonna double back. She is, Lola. Come on now. I deleted so many. I got angry the other, like, when it first happened. I started deleting some TikToks before I left some of them. <laughs> now I saw Lee talking about, okay, wrap this shit the fuck up. <laughs> so y'all only seen some of the TikToks. This Yo, man has also been at my shows. I can't. With my friends. <laughs> okay. Okay. I 
can't do this no more. I'm not, I'm not gonna, um, this is gonna be my last day of crying. <gasps> ah, the piece of shit. I can't do this no more. I'm not, I'm not gonna, um, this is gonna be my last day of crying. <gasps> I really believe, like, yo, he really, did he really think that, uh, <laughs> part of me was like, he, Blaze, really, now you catch it he really was all over my page and we was living this, this happy life because he really wanted to start all over with me. But you, she said they celebrated seven years, everything that woman said. I wish I could talk to her. I wish I can and I don't care anymore. But he can't do this to someone else. I'm trying to, I'm only doing these posts so I can save another woman from this evil person. Friend, we don't have his picture, his TikTok, Instagram, or nothing. How you saving him and we don't know him? that God didn't play about me and I guess he didn't I guess he he didn't fear God what happened to the sound what happened to the sound wanted to start all over with me but you she said they celebrated seven years everything that woman said i wish i could talk to her <laughs> about me and i guess he didn't i guess he he didn't fear god oh somebody call her well my mom just got here um she didn't want me to be alone, be alone, so she came. She don't want to uh -huh. be on camera. Uh -huh. I'm. You guys see me. I'm, I'm gonna wait on this mama part. If I get a lot of views or people engaged, I'll do it again. But y'all, let me know what you think of the conversation below. Love you. I appreciate y'all.